Hi, Brian. How are you doing? I got your guy up right here. Let me just go ahead and put the text and the background back in. So you're probably, is this the text you used? I, it's hard for me to tell. You've got a warning here saying that I don't have the text. Um, um, so we could substitute that use, using live type, but I, I don't have it. So this is what I'm seeing. Um, in order to turn um, the type in somewhat embedded, I mean, you can't really embed type in Photoshop, but what you can do is you can select your type and go up to the top across the menu across the top and select type and either here let's go ahead and select your type layer so it'll be active and then we go type and then you can, what you want to do is you want to say um, rasterize your type layer and what that's going to do once you rasterize your type layer it's it's going to um, um, it's going to it's no longer editable, but it's somewhat embedded in it, so to speak, in the file. So that's what you want to do. Now, make sure you do that on a, on a copy, not on your original file, because once you do that, the type is no longer editable. Okay, so um, good layer masking all the way through. Good job. You're showing all of your layer masks, and that's awesome. Um, I, I, I don't suggest using a... Um, vector background i suggest using a raster that's what where photoshop works the best it's a, it's it's a it's a digital imaging program um specifically designed to use uh pixel based um files and su as such being raster files so i'd like to see a regular photographic background on this a couple of things that just look like they've been cut and paste um these uh, candy corn fingers, they, they just kind of look like they're cut and paste. Um, so do the teeth. And I, I think the teeth are a mistake because they're really, they're just obs obstructing the view of the, the rest of the cool stuff you have in there. So when I said add teeth, I, I, I guess I, I, I meant something that's not quite so overbearing and overtaking um, the, 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 the creature itself. The feet and, and the legs, I think the, the bun, the arms, and the legs are all the exact same tone. So you're really missing out on an opportunity to bring out some detail in those areas by introducing different colors and different tone. Right now, the viewer sees these as a group, so there's real good chance they're not even going to look close enough to see that that's a peanut and that's corn. You see what I'm saying? Too much, too much similarity here. When you look at one, you don't tend to look at the rest. So I'd like to see some differences in the legs and... Um, you know, try to do some different legs, something. I think you could do some really interesting things with the legs and feet. For example, the feet here, that just looks like a, a soda can that's laid over a piece of corn. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Okay, so let's really try to meld this creature together. Um, now, you asked about the drop shadow. What you want to do is you want to create what's called a production layer. And um, there's a shortcut for that on a Mac. Basically, what you want to do is you just want to go make sure that the only things that are visible is the layer that you want to everything. In this, in this case, it would be your group one. The layers um, that you want in your production layer are visible. And then what you want to do is just click on any one of the layers and hit. This is a, a Mac um, command. It's Shift Option Command E. And what that'll do is give you this production file. And as you can see, I'm going to move it just for a second so you can see that's the production file. And I'm going to Command Z. That's what jumps right back into place. So, and, and what you want to do with that particular piece right there is you want to create your drop shadow out of that. So when you jump right over here to video tutorial creating a cast shadow and jump to the minute, about a minute 30 or so, and you'll see exactly where to go from there. Okay, but that, that should answer your questions regarding the um, drop shadow and the issues that you mentioned there. Okay, um, trying to make the cast, I'm sorry, the cast shadow. Yes, and you are exactly correct. It's a cast shadow, not a drop shadow. So, so other than that, I think that, um, you know, uh, the, the, the eyeballs you can't really see. So you really got to start thinking about your contrast and, and the way that, that these things fit together. Um, like, for example, like the, the legs. The legs are so red. I'm sorry, the feet are so red that the eye just immediately goes to the, the feet and kind of stop there. So that's why they look so heavy and so anchored. So 
because they're so much different than the other things. Now, I just said I want to be things to be different, but just work on your composition. If it, if it feels like it's working, it probably is. The good thing is that you're showing wonderful um, proficiency in your, your file and your technique and your, your uh, technical proficiency. Okay, good job, thanks.